Hey you guys, it's Jessica. My username is Jessicakes and today is August 30th, 2018. It's Thursday and I am here to do my two week post-op update for you guys. And I also wanted to let you guys know how my first OB appointment went with my doctor. So, um, I will start with my update surgery stuff. Um, I was, uh, I had my lap band to sleeve conversion surgery on August 16th, 2018. Um, and I was 213 pounds on that day. And today, two weeks later, I am 200 pounds, 200.6 pounds. So that means this week I lost 5.8 pounds, which brings me a total of 12.4 pounds in two weeks. Um, and then a grand total since I started um, this whole thing of 35.4 pounds. So I'm very happy with that. Um, and I think everything is going really, really, really well. I did the full liquids for two weeks. Um, and to be perfectly honest with you guys, the past two days since Tuesday, I have, I've had um, some pureed food um, just because I was just so sick of everything. So um, I did go a little bit early onto the purees, um, but I didn't eat purees at every meal. I just did it once a day for two days before I was supposed to. Um, I had some, I cooked um, my daughter a piece of salmon, um, fresh uh, wild salmon, and um, I cooked it and then she ate like half of it and then with the other half I mushed it up until it was really, really um, like mushed, mushed, <laughs> and I put some mayo in there. And it was really good. I ate about two tablespoons the first day. Um, and then the second day I had still had some left and it was about, and I weighed it out and it was one ounce, which I think is about, it It looked to me like two to three tablespoons. Um, and I ate it and I was really full, but it's so crazy you guys, the difference between feeling full with the gastric sleeve compared to feeling full with the um, the band. It is a hundred times better um, this time around. It makes me feel, uh, it does make me feel uncomfortable when I feel full, but with the band, it was like, I'd be eating, yum, whatever, and all of a sudden, it would just be like, you're sick, you need to run to the bathroom, you feel like you can't breathe, you start sweating, like, it, it was awful. And there was no, like, signals to say, like, okay, you're getting full now, you should probably stop. <laughs> like, it would just be like, you're eating, you're fine. And then all of a sudden, it would just be like, all hell broke loose. So, um, this time around, I can feel, um, even with the liquids, because I was doing kind of thicker liquids most of the time, I could feel when I started to get full and then I could feel like maybe I can take one more bite, I would take one more bite and then I'd be good. So I haven't had any problem so far with eating. Um, now, with that being said, I have had problems. I mean, okay, so I haven't had problems eating too much. I have had problems eating, and I think that's due to the pregnancy, um, because I'll eat, and then like 10 minutes later I start to feel hot, and then I throw up. <laughs> so that's happened twice so far, and I do think it also has to do with the vitamins. So I haven't really pinpointed, had, like really figured out what it is that's causing me to feel nauseous. Um, and to throw up, um, but I think it's morning sickness plus the vitamins plus maybe I'm eating, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to, it's really hard to tell. 
Um, so yeah, everything with the surgery is going going great and I'm I'm so happy I did it. Um, and even with everything going on, I, it's like it's so much better than the band. Um, and I'm I'm proud of my weight loss and I know at a certain point I'm going to tr be trying not to lose weight, but at this point it's totally fine that I am. Um, and I also thought like there are women who have morning sickness every single day of their first trimester and end up losing weight anyway. So it's like, I'm not that far removed from what other people are going through during their first trimester, I think. So <laughs> um, anyway, also I never had morning sickness at all with Helena. I was like maybe a little bit more tired than usual, but no morning sickness. Or nausea at all so this is all very new to me um so yeah today I'm officially on purees um, and I will do a video of what I've been eating like I think I'll do a, a video kind of like I did the last one um, of what I ate in a day but kind of extend it to maybe three days or whatever um, and yeah so Anyway, I had my <clears throat> my OB appointment today. So that went okay. Um, she, my sir, um, my PA that I I mentioned in the last video, he had emailed her telling her everything that had happened. And as soon as she saw me, she gave me a big hug and she's like, "Are you okay? Like, I can't believe this happened. This is crazy." Um, and then we were talking about it and she's like, everything is going to be fine. Um, but we need to really make sure that, um, the baby is growing at the right rate and we need to make sure you're hydrated. So those were like the two main concerns with her and she, um, and she mentioned the viability of the pregnancy. She said, you, you've been through a lot, you had trauma, all of this. So we, um, we kind of figured out our, my due date, which is April 25th. Um, and then she, she said it's really early, so we might not see a heartbeat, whatever. So we did a ultrasound and her ultrasound machine is good, but it's not like one of the super scan ones. Um, so we saw the gestational sac in there, um, but there was like a little, she called it a polyp. So I don't even really know what a polyp is, but you know, I know what it is, but I don't know in that context what it is. Um, that was blocking her from seeing the baby or seeing a heartbeat. So it was a little bit weird because she was like, I really want to know that everything's okay and we can't tell that everything's okay from this ultrasound. So she was like, we need to wait a few more weeks. Um, the eight week mark is pretty much like standard for um, for everyone to get their first ultrasound anyway, because then you can see what's going on and you can see the heartbeat and all of that. So um, she wanted me, she said, usually I would just have you come back in a month, but um, since, you know, there really wasn't any like confirmation today that she said, come back in two weeks. Um, and then I'm going to go to do a full scan at the, the women's center um, so that they can really get a better look at everything and then um, and then we, I'm going to go see her again to confirm everything so <clears throat> I am hoping that everything is okay um, and I'm not worried really because it is really it's just so early that I'm like I'm not going to put myself in that headspace um, to worry about that right now. All I can do is take care of myself and, um, and take my vitamins and all of that. So, so yeah, <laughs> I will have to come back on here in two weeks and let you guys know about that. 
I definitely feel pregnant, so, <laughs> um, and I haven't had any cramping or any bleeding or anything like that, so I'm, you know, I'm assuming everything is fine. Anyway, um, what else did I talk to her about? Oh, I said, okay, so as far as weight loss goes, how am I supposed to, like, how am I supposed to go into this and she said you will lose weight um you won't be able to eat that much and the most important thing is to stay hydrated and to take your vitamins and as long as the baby is growing at the right rate then there's nothing really to worry about um and she said she said you know I would rather someone who is overweight lose weight during their pregnancy than gain weight so she said this actually might help a lot with um, gestational diabetes, which I had with my last pregnancy and hypertension, which I had with my last pregnancy. So she was very positive about it. Um, she said, don't like actively count every single calorie and like be obsessive over losing weight. But she said, eat what they're telling you to eat, eat healthy, eat your right meals. Um, as long as you're not hungry, like eat when you're hungry. Um, if you lose weight, then it's all fine. So um, that made me feel better. It kind of gives me a plan. Um, and like I said, like when I told you guys my weight today, it's a little funny to be excited about losing weight, but I think I do get to be excited about it um, still. <laughs> because it as long as it's not harming the baby then um then yeah so you know my number one priority is the pregnancy obviously but I'm going to be losing weight along the way so I get to share that with you so anyway I think everything went fine um I wish you know I wish I saw more but it's okay um and I will See you guys soon. I'll try to put together that video of what I'm eating and um, and yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day, have a good weekend, and I will talk to you guys later.